When I had Tamar, I thought that that would calm situations. But it didn't. I knew this was not going to stop. So Tamar clocked one. The violence didn't stop. One year, three months. That's uh, that's uh, 15 months, yeah? Yeah? It didn't stop. Hmm. I said, if I don't go, this man's going to kill me and this girl. <clears throat> so, I had to turn to God. I said, I don't believe in separation of any sorts. I don't believe in divorce. Why did I turn to God directly? Because I don't talk to my church then. They didn't do anything about it. I had a pastor. He didn't do anything about it. Not even calling him to order. You know how you can take this to church? And nothing changed. I turned to the Holy Spirit now. I said, I'm going to leave. And I'm ready to face any consequences, be it the media, be it whatever, I will leave. So, one day, something happened, I don't want to go into details, and I came back. He asked for something, it wasn't available, and the next thing I had was a bang on my head, slaps. I said, ah, my daughter was crying. Neighbors were screaming, you will kill her, you will kill her. Every day, we not go hear something for this compound. I said, oh God, inside my head. So it has gotten to the neighbors. I have to go. That night, I remembered, um, after the whole, the friend came in and stopped it. Yes, so, but that, in the morning, the morning after, I'd packed my things and taken Tamar to go to my very good friend's place. I don't want to mention her name. A colleague of mine who opened her home to me and my daughter. And then I had to go back again to get Tamar's, few of Tamar's, because I didn't have any money. Few of Tamar's cold you know, clothes. I mean, uh, for winter, because we're going to go to South Africa to shoot a commercial for some telecommunication then. And then he blocked me. And immediately I went into tongue speaking in my head. I said, this man should not kill me today. I'm alone. I'm not coming today. I'm not coming today. I'm not coming today. I, said, I was just speaking in tongues in my mind. And after that beating that day, I almost died. I decided to never to come back there again. And then I had to speak to somebody I respect so much in the industry who advised me to go to some son lawyer and the, history, the rest became history so I made up my mind to to go and ever since I didn't look back I, I wished him well I prayed for him and I but I had to save me and my child